Hello everybody, I'm Kachiplane and welcome back to another episode of LA Noir. Now, <clears throat> this will be my new case as Homicide Detective. If I'm not mistaken, this will be my fourth case as Homicide. And I hope that doesn't involve naked woman again, please. The White Shoes Lane. I think it is all case of the serial the, of the homicide attack. It, it always it has to be someone as a serial killer because I think it because in the first case until the third case he is clearly he is a sign of a homicide uh, serial killer. Oh, uh, I don't know. I Good hope. morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be struck down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. I'm your skipper. skipper. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles are in the in short case. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to 45. I'm stopping this one now. Greetings from sunny California. I didn't want to stop. Fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of that, so. As long as the bricks hold up to San Quentin, they'll always be killing them. First a letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. I know, folks, all these arrests on your racket are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make it. That guy there will lead us up. Stealing myself from what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body for you. Get used to seeing him. You're the dig when you work in homicide fellas. Yeah. It's not used to being a homicide detective. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Yeah, this is the huge problem about... Uh, <clears throat> raining. Because there's no... Because most of it of it is washed away. There appears the to train. be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. 
Uh, because of this, uh, because of this, most of the uh, huge evidence, like blood, kind of uh, another chemical and other substances, is gone when it's through so it's raining. Really, so they could be hard uh, thing to investigate. Well, at least on this case, the woman is left clothed because on the other cases. It wasn't. No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Mm. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Okay, Catherine Barton, why you Did have? you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Well, you're blinking a lot, but you're not doing no other strange. I think you're telling the truth. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Yeah, but strange. You see, there's a car. How the hobo did make a manage to pick a car and kill him? There's something strange going on here. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, Detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. Wow, partner, you're fast. You're waiting in the car? Okay. Well, let's go do laundry. No message. Excuse me? There was no message? Where? On the bit. The last bodies had something written. This one did. I'm failing to follow. Can't be the same guy as I'm saying. Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Yeah, but... It could be the same killer, but you can change the pattern to avoid suspicion, but in a serial killer, you never actually do this. So, it, I think it rusty kind of being right. Could be a different person. So, at least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks. Hmm. Excuse me, sir, LPD. 
I have business Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F-1363. If you give me a minute, I'll go find a register, and you can take a look. You take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Okay. You wrote the number down on that dress, is it there? Silk, green silk dress, F163, there's one. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street, Westlake. Okay, let's check the house. The hobo, I think it will be the last thing we're going to check because I don't know, there's something fishy here going on. It can't be a hobo, how the hobo could be a car? I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic type show a particular disposition for this stuff. Yeah, you cannot judge immediately if he's, he's a wife killer. Look at other cases. It was on, it wasn't happened. Excuse me, LAPD. Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green <coughs> silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Mm hmm Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. And we're very sorry for your loss. Jeez, in front of the kids, really? I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. My God, they're so Stay awful. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. Mm. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Operator, give me dispatch. You want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons now. report actually rules him out as a suspect. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. How could I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. Well, there's the key, so... Check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Hmm, is it a good question? Why? I doubt it. Really? What? You know, it's a purse? Hmm.
not much help. Probably nothing. Yeah. Well, in the kids' room, I don't know, there's something very important. Ah, again with the match. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dial. Excuse me, ladies. Doesn't look like anything. This the purse? So she went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. Something more here? No, oh, nothing. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Oh, hey, wait a minute. We can see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. So why he has a uh, muddy shoe boot? Even the crime scene has a, a muddy boot shoes. Optimistic call. on the victim. I check everywhere. I think it's, let's talk to the record, Mr. Charlson. What is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. Jeez, it's hard, I don't know. It is sad, it, it looks sad, but it's not making it look like hiding or lying. I think it's hard to truth. So you don't what? know anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. <laughs> Damn. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. Let me see one thing. My dick is hiding. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? 
where she always goes. A bar down on North Beaudry Avenue, Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. I think? I think. Mm, there's no... Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. I think you're telling the truth. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Terrelson. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to Braj, you'll be giving in to them your entire life. There's one more clue, but where? time here. Let's leave. Go away unless you can bring my mommy home. Jeez. Perhaps in a handbag again? But where? Oh, the sh t shirt. Lars was out in the rain last night. Please, can I have some time to explain to my daughters? Yes, of course. Appreciate your time, sir. You believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, I need to check the hobo camp and at the bar. I think I'll go to hobo camp now. We're not responsible for the political or economic ideas of any I think we ought to investigate the hobo league. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. We We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. We should follow the old lead. These guys can wait. Sure, they want to check it out. Well, I guess not. Phelps, leave him be. Hey, run. Isn't he 
the cops they've been talking about on the radio? What another conversation? Huh? Oh, I wish I could have worked that. Incidental. You can't do this! Doesn't tell me anything. A war gun. Hmm. Slow down. That's disgusting. Didn't you ever hear burn? Is this legal, officer? Hey, I just did my job, miss. An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman walk the bar. The looks yeah, up and I think says, I'll go back to later. This? Some mm. kind of joke. <laughs> well, in this case of well, let's go to the bar then. When is it gonna save? KTI. Save, 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 save. Shit. You know what? Rest of you drive. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. When I arrive there, I'm gonna end this episode. Because when I run the destination, it's gonna save the, my progress. So, when it's saving the progress, I'm gonna end this episode because otherwise it's gonna be very long. And there's a lot of things going on in this case. this case uh, there is no naked woman gladly it will be hot, it will be good for me and of course for you guys but well on the other cases it was a serial killer but this one is very different and of course serial killer it always has some a pattern the way he kills, the way he taunts the uh, the policeman. But on this case, there's no there's no message. Oh, and of course, the message. The message is very important because the message is one thing the the serial killer does to taunt the the law enforcement. Well, on this case, there's no message. The body. At least has some dignity, so I think it it is a different um, murder case. So I'm gonna continue this uh, this case after because it's gonna be very long. I was my a lot of my time for finding all the clues, but obviously Rosa said is the the husband. I don't think so. Well. I don't think so, but I don't know. Thank you so much to watch my channel. Uh, put your comments down below about uh, what you think about the video. Uh, give me a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of LA Noah. I'm gonna see you folks in the, in the next episode. Bye!